Hi, I'm Monica Reinagel, the Nutrition Diva, here with your quick and dirty tips for eating well and feeling fabulous. And today, I'm going to show you how to make fish in parchment paper. It sounds sort of fancy, but it's actually a very easy technique and it's a really healthy way to prepare fish. So we're going to start out with some parchment paper. You'll find this at the grocery store in that aisle where they keep the plastic wrap and the tin foil. And uh, although it looks a little bit like wax paper, it's not wax paper and wax paper won't work for this recipe. So you want to make sure that you have some parchment paper. So I've cut a piece of parchment paper off my roll about this big. And the first thing I'm going to do is fold it in half. And then, taking a pair of kitchen scissors, I'm going to cut out a heart shape. Just the way we used to make valentines when we were little kids in school. Cutting around to a heart shape, like this. Okay, And I have my heart shape, because we all know fish is heart healthy, right? So now we're going to make our packet. So you lay your heart out on your board. And, um, and I have some nice fish here, a nice filet of salmon. You can also make this with halibut or any nice white fish. Now, you could start here with a little bed of sautéed spinach or some braised fennel. And I have a recipe for braised fennel in my new book, Secrets for a Healthy Diet. And I'll tell you more about my new book in just a minute. But right now, I'm going to keep it simple and just make a little bed out of some thinly sliced lemons for my fish. And once I've got that arranged, I'm going to put my portion of fish here. I'm going to add another little squeeze of lemon on top, a little salt and pepper. And I'm also going to put a little fresh chopped tarragon on there. Tarragon is a classic herb to use with fish. Now, some people don't like the slightly licorice -y flavor that tarragon has. And if you don't care for that, dill is another great choice for salmon. It goes really well. So you add a little uh, herbs here. And, you know, a little uh, slosh of white wine never hurt anybody either. That goes really well in here. But once we've built our little package here, it's time to make our packet. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to fold over your parchment paper heart. And then starting up here at the top, you're going to start by making a series of little pleats just like this, each one about a quarter of an inch. And you're just going to work your way around the entire edge of the packet. Now, this isn't hard to do, but it's sort of hard to explain in words. And so that's why this is perfect for a video demonstration, because it's sort of easier to show you. So I'm just continuing with my little series of pleats all the way around. I'm going to Shake my fish down a little bit. If it starts to get too close to the edge, you can just pick it up and shake it. Continue. And when you get around to the bottom, you're just going to give the tail a little twist to seal your packet. And here's our little packet. Now what we've done is made sort of a little steam chamber for the fish so that as it cooks, it's going to absorb the flavors of the herbs and the lemon that we've put in there. And it's also going to keep it from drying out, which is why this is a great preparation for a lighter, more delicate fish because it keeps it nice and moist while it's baking. Now you're going to want to make one packet for every person you're serving. But of course, as you can see, this also makes a lovely little dinner for one. Once you have your packets done, they go on a baking sheet in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how thick your fish is. This is a fairly thick portion of salmon, so I'm going to bake it for 15 minutes. So here's how the fish looks when it comes out of the oven. Now, you could take the fish and the vegetables out of the packet and put them right in the plate, but I think it adds a little bit more drama to serve it right in its packet. Before you want to take it to the table, you want to just open up the packet. Just cut a little slit here. Be careful just in case there's any hot steam in there. Maybe cut it a little bit like this and sort of peel back the edges to make a nice presentation. Fold it a little bit. Doesn't that look fancy? Oh, and it smells delicious. I'm just going to add a little bit of salad to the plate. And that's good to go to the table. In my new book, I have lots more healthy meal suggestions, recipes, and shopping guides, along with answers to all the questions that are likely to come up when you're trying to make healthy choices, both at the grocery store and throughout the day. 
Nutrition Diva's Secrets for a Healthy Diet, What to Eat, What to Avoid, and What to Stop Worrying About is on sale now at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or wherever you like to buy books. So pick up a copy today and eat something good for me.